Hello and welcome to learn ADS in 5 minutes. This is tutorial 17 and in this tutorial we will learn about using templates and design guides in ADS. So what is templates? Now imagine we have been working through past two few tutorial videos and have been building up you know many simulations and many test benches in, in our workspace. Now often uh, you know, if you are doing a similar kind of circuit design over and over, uh, all the things mostly remain common, like setting up simulation, you know, setting up optimization and so on. Now, if you, for instance, create a new workspace and you start to work on a new project, you will end up spending same amount of time in setting up simulation, setting up optimization and so on. So designers, uh, pressure time is taken away doing all those common operations. And not only on a schematic, uh, we spend you know quite a bit of time in setting up our data display, putting the graphs, putting the markers, setting up tables, you know, creating multiple display pages as we talked about in the in the past few videos and so on. So if we have to you know reduce our design time efforts and you know get things done more productively, we could use a feature called template in areas. So let me illustrate. How can you create your templates? How can you use them very, very easily to save a lot of your time? So let's start with saving this design as, and I will call it a for filter template, any name you want to give. And here in the new design, uh, which we create, let's go back to schematic and open up that particular design, which we just created for filter template. And from here, we will get rid of things which we don't need to have on that template. And we will only have things which we really need. So let's say I want to create a template where uh, I want to have some optimization goals for transmission response, return loss. And then I know mostly I would be working with a two port you know, kind of circuit design. It could be an amplifier design or it could be filter design and all that. So we will keep only that item which we need in our uh, design to be reused. And once done, uh, we can go ahead into file, save design as template. And now here we can give our template name. So let me call it SP Sim with opt. We can give a descriptive name so that we understand what is that template doing. And this template will get saved in a specific directory shown here. So even if you have to pass it to some colleague, you can copy this file and send it to him. He can put it in his folder and it will start working even for him. So once we click OK, the template gets saved. Now assume you are in a new workspace or even in a same workspace and we create a new schematic and we want to do the same setup again. Then we can simply go to insert template and then from the list here, we would be able to look at our templates on the top side. Notice there are plenty of template which comes along with ADS, which does precisely the same job. But here we will use our recently saved template of SIM, SP SIM with opt. And once we do that, you can notice there's something you know floating with my mouse and I can click. So in no time, I have all the basic setting done. I just connect my DUT in between. I can change my optimization goal and I can go ahead either simulate my design or do optimization. Easy, isn't it? Same way, if we spend a lot of time in saving data display, you organize your data display, most of the time you will end up seeing the similar kind of plots uh, we have to work with. So like we saved a schematic template, we could go to file, save as template, and we can give it some name. So let's say SP SIM with S21 and S11. We can choose any name you want and we are going to save it under user library. Click OK and now this data display, all its pages, everything which we have put on the equations, everything is saved as a template. So next time, uh, let's say if I just insert a particular you know, component and I will just use some basic component. So let's go to lumped component and put an inductor in between just to to give you a concept and we run simulation we will also always see in you know a blank uh, data display so we can go to insert template 
And now from the user library, I can pick my template, which I have like SP SIM, click OK. And now we have the entire plot, the same marker, same table, the rest of the pages all available for us to see without spending even one minute of our time. So these are some useful capabilities uh, which you designers can use in ADS. Same way, there are plenty of design guides in ADS. So if you notice the design guide, both of these design guides are also template based. For example, if somebody is involved in amplifier design, he could click on any of these you know, templates which are available for various you know, simulation. So once we click on any template, always two things will pop up. One is the data display, where again, a lot of equations and everything has been already set for user, as well as the schematic. Now the job of designer is very easy by putting his own DUT, modifying some of the characteristics and just reaping the benefits what ADS installation brings for him. Hope you like this video. Look forward to see you in next video. Thanks very much for watching.